sorcerer? Nay, not well. I have the bone ache. Past thou success. Thy life depends upon it. Dead. Still dead. Aye, nothing works. I have promised thee, turn this into gold. And I will set thee free. But, Master, I have tried and tried again. Thou art a magician. Aye, verily I am. With magic powers. Aye, mighty lord. But use them, villain. Give me power. What power, Master? Power of gold. I must have gold. Thou shalt stay here till you make gold. <laughs> Thou great Norman lump. I cannot make thee gold if I try till doomsday. <coughs> what power hath gold, Touchwood? I seek the power to set us free, that we may fly from this castle and never... Fly. From this castle. Fly. Say, 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 Disappearing, disappearing. Ah, here it is, flying. The power to fly as a bird doth. Stand thou in thy zodiac ring. See, 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 see. Oh, spirits that rule the great circle of stars, grant me the power to fly. By the sign of the ram, by the scorpion and the centaur and the goat, now thou hast the power. Get thee to an high place, leap into the air, and fly. If thou dost not fly, tis thy bad luck. What does that mean? Here, food. Fear me, hog face. Stay. I can become invisible. Thinner than air. It is true, I swear it. Would see. Then close thou this, whilst I count ten, and I shall vanish. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thou not know that I can fly as doth a bird. Art thou ready, Touchwood? Sell me, tell me.
not flown. Then twice my bad luck. Yes. flown, but time. Party's arriving about 3.15. Americans, you better get changed. Uh, long or short, Tom, my lord? Well, it depends how many there are, groom. Customers? Well, I hope so, Charles. And another season like last year, and we'll be selling the place, Dotty. I'm sure it's going to go terribly well. Now, you mustn't worry. I just wish I knew how to make money. <laughs> I should like to welcome you to King's Farthing, home of Lord and Lady Collingford and the Collingford collection of military relics dating back to the Norman Conquest. was uh, something of an eccentric. It is said that he found the old dungeons of Farthing Castle below the house, where he dabbled in black magic. <laughs>
What have you got here, Cedric? It's a cello. But you've already got a violin, a piccolo and a French horn. Yes, but I hadn't got a cello. Yeah. Oh, I see. But did you have a good term? Quite. Hasn't he grown? Yes, and hasn't his hair. Well, they all wear it like that. Do they? Hello, Cedric. Hello, Mrs. Gowdy. Nice to have you home again. Oh, hasn't he grown? Cindy, like something to eat? Can I just go and unpack this? Yeah, just a minute. I always lock up when the season starts. Thanks. Can I come and help? No, it's all right. Won't be a minute. We are trapped, thou pot of what? <laughs> No jest, Touchwood. Mercy, I may not. Who are you? How did you get down here? Touchwood was lost. T Touch who? Uh, Touchwood, my familiar. Hast thou no familiar? No, no, I don't think so. There's a way in from outside, then, is there? Ah, it is the Zodiac. Where is it? The, the way in, I mean. Oh, wondrous. Wondrous. Are you listening? Hi, almighty magician. Did you call me? Mighty magician! Oh, no, 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 this, this is Lord Alfred's hidey-hole, my great-great-grandfather. Why dost thou dig? Oh, it's a secret. Check. Who are you, anyway? Oh! Oh, Cassie, see, 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 see. Lord Alfred must have done it, so you'd have to be a magician to read it. Just a writing known as Malachim. Twelve are they that circle round. If power you seek, they must be found. Look for where the thirteenth lies. Mount aloft the one who... flies. Who are you? I am Cat Weasel. The riddle is simple, Alphys. It is the flying spell. Flying spell? The twelve that circle round. The signs of the zodiac? We must find each one, and then the thirteenth sign. Whatever's that? As yet, I know not. But then, we shall fly. What's the matter? My thumbs prick. Danger. Thy father comes for thee. How do you know? I see him. In the eye of time, get thee hence. What about you? Go! Oh. <sighs> Tea's ready. I was just coming. I, uh, brought the fiddle. Cello, thanks. Hmm? 
Oh, yeah. Everything sorted out? I think so. And that concludes the tour of the house. Tea's on sale in the tea room through the main entrance, then thank left. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, thank you, sir. Do you think there are still any magicians today? What? Oh, I see. No. I shouldn't think so. He believed in magic, didn't he? Apparently. He tried to fly, you know. To fly? Yes. Using magic spells, of course. Off the top of a cliff. What happened? I'm afraid gravity won. It is thyself. Check. this term? I've written half an opera. Well, we meant to ask, darling. Oh, I see. Sorry. Music's all very well for a hobby, but you don't want to get too wrapped up in it. Is it nice if you could find a friend who lived reasonably near? Term start. You blithering idiot! Oh, I could kill you! Nay, kill me not! You ought to be locked up! Nay, not again! <laughs> oh, Cedric. I'm oh, sorry, Mother. I'll clear it up. Not again. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I come from the time of the Normans. They imprisoned me, but I escaped. Did you? It is my second journey hither. Yes. See, I know thy magic. Is electricery. Shine, tiny sun. Teach me thy magic, and I will teach thee mine. Eh? 
Don't you dare tell anyone! Did I not read thee the flying spell? Yes, but this is the 20th century. If I were to fly, I'd get on a plane. Nay, not a plane. A mountain and a high place. But first, we must find the 13 signs. Oh, I'll be as potty as you in a minute. Now listen, you go and find the 13 signs. And when you've got them, come back and show me how well you can fly. Thou wilt not help me? Well, I don't know, but come on and be quiet. All quiet again. What a boy. <laughs> Now what? What on earth's happened? Uh, oh, I sort of fell. <laughs> Are you all right, darling? Oh, you've wrecked this hat stand. Fooling about, I suppose. Oh, never mind. It wasn't very pretty. You know, you're doing very well for your first day home. Oh, Charles, he might have hurt himself. Now, are you sure you're all right? My yes, father. I'm fine. My father bought this. Yeah, oh, come on, everybody. Let's go and have a really tough game of croquet. You can take us on, Charles. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I thank thee, I'll face. Touchwood, the great quest hath begun. See, the sign of the ram, the first sign. We must find them all, and then we shall fly. <laughs> 